Severe Weather STEAM Week. STEAM is science, technology, engineering, art, and math. So in each classroom, they got um, a little bit of everything. You accept the mission? I am excited to know that. We did a whole unit on severe weather. We talked about um, ways to stay safe um, in blizzards or snowstorms, and snowplows are one of the things they learned about. And so the Ozobot was acting like the snowplow, and then they crumpled up little bits of paper, and that was the snow. And so on their path, the Ozobot was clearing the snow. Students are rotating to different classes, and they're getting to experience all the different experiments and fun things. There was an escape room. They were learning about blubber. Um, that was one of the science experiments that they were doing to learn how blubber helps animals um, stay safe too and stay warm when it gets cold. One in butter and then their other hand in ice to kind of see how that worked. I didn't see movement and those winds and a hurricane and a tornado are pretty strong. They did like some drama. So they were acting out um, what windy weather or like a hurricane, what it means and they were using their bodies to do that. We gotta make sure that this part is connected to the circuit. Students doing makey makey, creating alarm systems. The students um, were expected to build an alarm system using materials that I put out. They then connected the makey makey to a paper clip, which then is connected to their system that they built. The circuit isn't connected, yes. The makey makey gives it power to turn on. Our steam unit was on a project where they had to figure out ways to stay safe if severe weather were to hit where we live, especially hurricanes. And so this severe, um, alarm system that is going off right now is um, warning us that severe weather is coming. We're going to code our bee bots out of that severe weather destruction. A bee bot is a type of robot that you code directions using the, um, the keypad on top. One, two, three, four, five. The learning is contagious, so they see something cool and then you see something cool and then when they find out that they're using the science vocabulary and really making connections within their own lives and then the research that we've done in our world, it's super cool. Super engaged um, and just on task too. So, and then at the end, they could all tell me what they learned, you know? So using the different ways, instead of just sitting in your desk and learning from a book or me talking, actually doing those hands-on activities really helps.